we are going to listen to this vine sing right now. Let's hear it play some music. I really enjoy listening to you. Uh, philodendron and snake plants. Any plant that inspires me uh, along the way on a hike with a beautiful view. Let's tune into the sounds played by this plant. Uh, we just attach two sensors to a plant's leaves and PlantWave detects these slight variations that are happening in plants based on them moving water around. We graph those variations as a wave, translate them into pitch, and then run those pitch messages through instruments that we design. So the result is this continuous stream of pleasing music that gives us all this sonic window into the secret life of plants. As many of you have been asking, what would a redwood tree sound like? Let's see what melodies it creates when we connect the plant wave. If a plant is really underwatered, you know, it might play just a few notes. Whereas if a plant is really healthy and thriving, it will be going through like the whole range. Looks like we have a plant here that may not have made it through this heat. So let's check it out. Let's see if it can make any music. Yeah, nothing. Let's see what happens when I water the plant. Let's listen. Let's every plant is different and every leaf is different. So here we are listening to this rubber tree. And now let's check out this pothos. Plant wave actually works with mushrooms as well. So let's check it out. Most of the time with mushrooms though, you know, the mushrooms are growing out of a dead plant. And so you're actually hearing the connection between two mushrooms through uh, a dead plant. The development of Plant Wave started back in 2011 when I started a record label called Data Garden. And uh, it was a zero waste record label. Uh, my friends and I got together and started to think about like uh, how, how we could express this connection to nature with music. And uh, we became really interested in like biofeedback music. I have an awesome engineer friend who built the hardware that ended up becoming Plant Wave. And I designed a generative music algorithm that uh, takes all of this data from the plants and actually makes it into this beautiful, listenable, harmonious music. Okay, I'm testing one of these new prototypes and uh, I'm testing this eighth inch MIDI connector here, which is cool. We had four different plants and each plant was playing a different instrument. Thousands of people came through this space and were able to just chill out listening to plants. And I was really amazed by people's response. It's acting as a bridge for people from their phones back into nature and uh, helping people have a deeper relationship with their plants. 